To do a running gainer, what you want to do is find an obstacle that's not too high, not too low, maybe three, four feet of height should be good enough. And also what you want to make sure is that you have enough run up because you're running into it. So for example, this table is not good to learn because you don't get enough run up. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to practice running into the gainer. So you're going to be like this, one step forward, the step right before the last one, what you're going to want to do is have your arms backwards. So arms backwards and then the next step is when you're going to bring your arms back up. The last step, you want to make sure you're close to the edge. You don't want your foot to be off of the edge, but you want it to be close. The reason you do that is because for the running gainer, you're going to want to get enough distance to clear the obstacle and go past it. You don't want to hit your feet on the way down. So that's why you want to be as close to it so you don't have to get as much distance. So when you're ready for that, the foot close to the edge, you bring your arms up and at the same time, you also bring your other knee up. So arms and knee, same time, bring them up. This will help you get height and get flip as well. So you want to practice that a few times. Once you're comfortable with that, what you want to make sure is that you get enough distance. So when you jump off this leg, you want to make sure you're not jumping straight up. You're also keeping your forwards momentum. Some people will block with this leg, stop all of their forward momentum and turn it into height. You don't want to do this for the running gainer because then you might hit the obstacle on the way down. So when you jump off, make sure you get some height, but you keep your forward momentum to clear the obstacle on the way down. At this point, the rest of the flip is just like a backflip. You're going to bring both knees to your chest, put your hands on your knees and have your head backwards. You're going to have your head backwards to spot the ground. And once you do, you can open up from your flip and just land like any other flip. Let me show you guys an example right now. <laughs> 